Okay, now I'm going to show you how we are going to make a flat collar that has a little bit of a roll to it, so it tucks those um, raw edges uh, from your seam down a bit and they don't pop open. So back to just a regular flat collar, you're going to line, I'm pretending that I'm stitching that shoulder seam together. Bloop. So I've overlapped it a half an inch. And what you're going to do differently in that last flat collar, we just traced this out and then designed however we wanted it. We need to create enough of a uh, enough of a tug on that material that it ooches up a tiny bit onto your neck edge and does a little bit of a roll so the seam gets tucked under. You take a pin and you're going to create a pivot point. And my pivot point is right where that seam meets. So remember I've got that, that half inch seam allowance. Let's do it this way so you can see it better. So bloop, bloop, bloop. remember I, I stitched that up. So that's my half inch seam allowance all the way across. I put my pin in right where that seam would be. Okay, it's right there. I'm using that as a pivot point. So that's going to stay put. This neck edge is going to stay put. We're going to adjust this area here. So I want you to measure over, get a ruler, measure over at that shoulder, can you see this? At that shoulder seam, one inch. So there's my shoulder seam. I'm measuring over one inch. I'm gonna create a little hash mark right there. One inch. And I'm gonna pivot that bottom corner all the way over to that one inch mark. So see how that sort of created um, a pull to this garment? You're not gonna sew it that way, we're just drafting the collar. All right, so now that's the same, but I've moved this shoulder seam up. Bing! Okay, take your pin out, take your piece of paper, line that baby up again. And we're going to trace it out just like we did the regular um, collar before. I'm going to do this one like a, uh, you know, like a sailor bib that has a tie in the front. So I'm going to mark off my neck at hole, neck edge, neck seam. Marking that off, marking that off. There's my center back seam. Going to pull that down, right? And then I'm gonna come up over the shoulder. Boo! Up over the shoulder. Ooh, that's not pretty. Here, let's not freehand that. I'm gonna come up over the shoulder. And I want, so imagine that we're gonna have a tie coming in here. So let's go down. Oh, I just shifted that whole piece of paper over. There, now I'm back. Um, so we're going to come down and create a tie. Let's have that tie come. Seam allowance. I don't know if this will work. I haven't made one of these in years. Okay, so that would be my new collar. Because I've adjusted um, that pull, it will boink, tuck underneath naturally um, and sit nicer on that neck edge for you. Okay, I'll show you how to assemble these next. This one is the flat collar with roll. And I, I do wanna mention that on these, uh, you may have to adjust what that roll is like. Um, because it, you may need more. If you need it to uh, pull it up more, you may need to go at an inch and a half. Um, sometimes you can do a really dramatic, keep that pivot point right there and do something really dramatic. You're not stitching this, you're just creating your pattern. So if that, you need something really dramatic to ooch it up, that would be kind of fun to play with. All right, that's enough of that. Hang on to these, you'll use them over and over.